As an online instructor in the field of big data, I get a lot of questions from students about how they can get a job in the field after they've learned the basics. Well, it's not realistic to think that somebody is going to pay you a six-figure salary just because you took a $10 course online. You need to show that you can apply what you've learned, and that means getting some sort of experience that you can point to. But it's a classic problem. How do you gain experience in the field when you have no experience with which to get your first job? Well, don't just throw up your hands and give up. You have to make your own experience. So here are some ideas on how to do that. Find an internship. If you're still in school, don't miss the chance to take on an internship. Big companies hire interns as a way to find good employees down the road. And if your internship goes well, you'll probably have a job offer waiting for you before you even graduate. Look for opportunities for teams and companies that have big data problems to solve where you can apply what you've learned about distributed computing or Spark or Hadoop or whatever else they might use. Even if it means pushing your graduation out by a semester, taking that internship is arguably even more important than your degree itself when it comes to landing a job in the field. Take a transitional job. If you're past the point in your career where an internship makes sense, it might make sense to take more of a long-term strategy. So instead of moving straight into a data engineering or analysis role, perhaps you can leverage the experience that you already have to try and get yourself into the right place at the right time for the job that you ultimately want down the road. For example, companies like Amazon and Google have an insatiable need for good software engineers. If you're an expert coder, you've got a good chance of getting in the door there as a software engineer. But you'll find that once you get there, big data is pervasive at these companies, and you're going to have lots of opportunities to learn and apply technologies that process distributed data across a cluster, if that's what you want to do. And even if it's not an Amazon or a Google, find companies that have big data problems and see if there's a potential role for you there that's a better match for the skills and experience that you have today. It's a lot easier to transfer into a new role internally than to be hired into it from the outside. So once you've got your foot in the door, you'll find it's a lot easier to meet the hiring manager for the job you really want and learn what it takes to transfer to their team down the road. Now, you should plan on spending at least a year in your initial role, however, and giving it your best effort because only A players will gain enough trust at a company to let them transition into an entirely new role. Contribute to open source projects. A good engineer who has contributed to one of the many open source technologies that power the Hadoop ecosystem will still be a compelling candidate for engineering positions that wrangle big data. Working on open source projects in your spare time can be a great way to create your own experience in the field that you want to be in. Do Kaggle challenges. If you're specifically interested in data science and machine learning, Kaggle offers a way to compete and showcase your skills. Someone on the Kaggle leaderboard is a candidate I take seriously. And again, this is something you can achieve entirely on your own if you're good enough. Do freelance work. If you don't have enough experience to land a full-time job in your field yet, perhaps there are opportunities to do freelance work at first. There are plenty of freelancer marketplaces out there, and yes, it often means working for a very low rate at first, but it's work that you can just do on the side, and it gives you things that you built in the real world that you can point to on your resume. That's hugely important. Before hitting the marketplaces, though, see if your own network of connections can lead to your first gig instead. Maybe you know someone, or you know someone who knows someone who runs a small business that has big data that needs someone like you. Freelance gigs that you book yourself will probably be much higher quality than ones obtained through a marketplace. Build your own product. Instead of working for someone else, work for yourself. Maybe there's a big data set that you have access to that allows you to create a product or a website based on insights that you've extracted from it. Twitter, for example, makes its data stream publicly available. Maybe you can build some novel system that analyzes that data in real time in some unique and valuable and scalable way that you can point to as an accomplishment. Think creatively, and perhaps the experience on your resume in the field of data will come from your own company. Who knows, maybe you won't need an employer at all. Nobody said landing a lucrative job in the field of big data would be easy. If it were, everyone would be doing it. But learning about the technology and practicing it is certainly the first step. But in reality, you need to apply what you've learned before someone will pay you to do it. I hope these tips have given you some ideas on how to get that elusive first gig that you can build upon. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, check out my ultimate hands-on Hadoop course on Udemy. In it, you'll learn over 25 different technologies in the Hadoop ecosystem and build up a powerful arsenal against your big data. Just use the coupon code in the description below and you'll get a large and special discount.
See you there.